Welcome back to Mosaic. We're in the middle of a beautiful conversation with Cantor Rosenberg at Congregation Emmanuel. You know, in your many, many years at the congregation, I know that you've been involved in so many people's lives, and I think that a lot of people don't know that in Jewish life, a cantor is co-equal clergy with a rabbi, and so officiates at all life cycle events, becomes engaged in everything from counseling issues, hospital visits, the whole range of clergy activity. And so I'm just wondering, as you look back, to just talk a little bit about how you've used music and music is used and supports people through birth, funerals, mm -hmm. memorial services, bar and bat mitzvahs, weddings, happy occasions, sad occasions. Well, um, I've had some really dramatic moments with that, visiting a person who's dying and singing to them. I had one incredible experience where uh, one woman lovely congregant was you know she was more or less unconscious and she was she was about to pass and I went to visit her and held her hand and sang Psalm 23 and right after I finished there were two puffs and she was gone and um, that was actually that was shattering in a way but also quite beautiful to be there at that time and to know that she she went peacefully on the wings of song, you know, and, and people tell me all the time how much it means to them. Uh, because I think, you know, working in partnership with a rabbi, you experience the cognitive and then you experience the affective. So you get the intellect, you get the message, you get, you know, learning and text and knowledge and you also get the ability to feel through the music, to emote, to express things that, you know, you may not be able to express otherwise. So I know it's very powerful for people to hear music, to hear soulful music, you know, and to be supported that way. I think music is a very supportive thing as far as your emotional life. You know, it's, um it's amazing that we're at the end of our time together. It's almost putting a comma in the conversation. We're going to end with a clip from more music that you brought to Third Baptist Church. But I just want to say thank you so much for being with us, Cantor Barrick. Thank and you. thank you for a lifetime of a career that, that gave so much to San Francisco, to the Jewish community and the community at large. And so thank would you, you like to set up um, Third Baptist, what we're going to see? So uh, that morning when I was discussing how we deal with our grief and our pain, uh, I ended with the text uh, from one of the Psalms saying, those who sow in tears will reap in joy, and this is actually a tune of Debbie Friedman. Oh, and um, I started off by singing it myself, and then everyone started to join in, and it was just, it just became a, an incredible communal outpouring together. It was, it was a lovely, lovely experience. Third Baptist Church, please enjoy. And so the third way to deal with this is to hang on to hope. Just keep hanging on. Because it says in Psalm 126, those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. And we need to remember that. We need to never give up on that. Those who sow, who sow, 